The reading is taken from Matthew chapter 28. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Pentecost is a festival for both Christians and Jews. For Jewish people, it celebrates the giving of the Torah to Moses. At Passover, they were freed from slavery, and at Pentecost, they became a nation under God. That is why Jerusalem was packed with people from across the world, as Luke describes when he tells the story of the first Christian Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. For Christians, it marks the birth of the church, the outpouring of the Spirit on all people as foretold by the prophets. The world had been set free from slavery by the death and resurrection of Jesus, and now the kingdom of God was manifested on earth. Do you find it hard to be a Christian? Actually, it isn't hard. It's impossible. The people of the Old Testament found it hard enough to keep the law of Moses, and Jesus made it clear that the law extended beyond what you do to what you think as well. Fortunately, what is impossible for us is possible to God. And we're set free, not, not by our willpower, but by God's spirit at work within us. What we need is not more grit and determination, but a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. The Old Testament writers celebrated the law of Moses. It was not just a set of rules, it was a way of life. It was what made them stand out as a nation. They knew what was in God's heart. For the early church, it was the manifestation of the Spirit in a person's life that marked them out as a Christian, Jew or Gentile. The law of God was written not on tablets of stone, but in their hearts. So let us pray. O oh Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us for ever. I am placing my soul and my body in thy safe keeping this night, O oh God. In thy safe keeping, O oh Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O oh Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me from harm this night. I call on you, O oh God, for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love. You who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Lighten my darkness, Lord. Let the light of your presence dispel the shadows of night. Christ with me sleeping. Christ with me waking. Christ with me watching each day and each night. Save us, O Lord, while we are awake. Guard us while we are asleep, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in his peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening, for ever and for evermore. In the name of the Father precious and of the Spirit of healing balm, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to rest. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.